When a rancher saw one of his mares collapse to the ground, he jumped into action. He knew that he had to get to her, and fast, but when he took a closer look at her, he couldn't help but recoil back in surprise. He would never have expected to see a true miracle happen right in front of his eyes, and the sight left him speechless. John had been working with horses his entire life. He was born on a horse ranch that his father ran, so working with these fine creatures was nothing but second nature to him. When he was a child, all he had ever wanted was to be just like his father someday. So when John Sr. retired, it was finally his time to shine. Even though there was so much wisdom to be taken from his father's way of doing things, he couldn't help but want to modernize the ranch a little and make it more efficient. He thought it was essential to the well-being and success of the farm. He ensured that everything was updated over a period of five years. Much to his father's disapproval, John insisted on doing things his way, and the result showed he was right. Thanks to his retirement, his father was able to travel the country a bit more than he had his entire life, and so he was often away from the ranch. It was during such a time that John met with a situation that certainly required his father's years of expertise. Prior to that day, John Jr. felt pretty confident in his ability to look after his horses and staff. Thanks to his father building up a name for himself during his years, he had quality connections with other ranches and could choose breeding pairs for his mares from the best stallions in the region. Since he bred his star quality horses himself, he was well versed in the nature of mares reproducing and going through their gestational stages. However, that couldn't have prepared him for what lay ahead. When that year's breeding season ended, he brought his vet in to check whether his mares had successfully been impregnated. Most of the time, his pairings had great success, but this particular year, his most prized mare didn't seem to have conceived any foal. The vet claimed that the test was negative and so she would have to wait until the following season to try again. And so all the mares that had fallen pregnant were separated from those that were not. Each group was given a paddock to reside in during the day for their relaxation. Because the pregnant mares all conceived around the same time, John Jr. knew he had a very busy season ahead of little foals being born. More often than not, his father would return home to help him during this time in case there were any complications he couldn't handle. Thankfully, up until now, he had a pretty good track record of keeping his mares in good conditions. Sometimes nature took its course and the poor little foals didn't make it, despite John and his staff's best efforts. That was unfortunately part of life, and as harsh as it sounded, the mares were John's main priority as they were worth a pretty little fortune on their own. John had started out at the ranch driven by passion, but when he had become the owner and got a taste of the money, he had started seeing dollar signs everywhere. As the manager, it often meant that he was left to do a lot of the… managing. Thanks to his resources and the modernization of the ranch, he was able to employ quite a few staff to help him with the nitty gritty. This then allowed him to turn his attention to the administration of the farm. Since he was always in his office, he had less time to spend on the ground with the horses one-on-one. -on -one. This meant not having to deal with the difficulties of hard births, but also missing out on the miracle of life. Most times he would simply get a report or get called down to examine the newborns. This was a huge point of contention between John and his father. John Sr. couldn't understand how his ranch boy had changed into a money-driven business mogul that saw those beautiful creatures solely as monetary gain. However, he couldn't dispute the immense wealth his son had built up with his new, modern techniques. After all, he had had his days of ruling the roost, and now he was just enjoying the various fruits of his labor. Along with John Sr., John Jr. also kept around some staff that lived on the premises. There were two older men that had worked side by side with his father in the past. They were always good to have on hand during emergencies, especially after everyone had gone back to their homes after a hard day's work. John had no idea how helpful they would be until one fateful day, when his whole world was turned upside down. It was a day that ended just like any other. John had been cooped up in his office most of the day. He decided that once his work was done, he would go and enjoy the last warm moments of the afternoon on the porch with his family. His wife looked after his little daughter during the day, and so the afternoons were when they connected. Their toddler was running around on the lawn in front of the porch. 
John sat happily on his chair on the porch with a whiskey in hand and surveyed the land in front of him. The paddocks were in the distance and he could see his prized mare grazing quite happily, or so he thought. He was just remarking to his wife how beautiful the sunset was that evening when something caught his eye. It was a sudden, big movement from one of the paddocks. John quickly picked up his binoculars and had a glance, and that's when he saw it. His prized mare had collapsed and was lying awkwardly on the floor. John knew immediately that something was terribly wrong. He needed to get to her quickly to see how he could help. He never could have expected what he was about to find. As he quickly made his way there, he couldn't help but feel resentment toward his father. Now, out of all the times he had needed him on the ranch, he was out of reach on holiday. So instead, he quickly radioed his on-site ranchers for help. He had a feeling he was going to need all the hands he could gather, and his instincts would soon be proven right. Sure enough, as he reached the mare, he could see something was wrong. She was clearly in distress. As he rounded her and reached her back, he saw it. She was in labor. He barely had the time to question how they had failed to notice it and quickly jumped into action. For a few seconds, he remembered the days he'd helped his father with countless horses and almost regretted the months he had spent in his office away from the real action. He hadn't done this in quite some time, but luckily for him, it was like second nature. As he helped her deliver the calf, the ranch hands arrived to assist him. They too were absolutely astounded at what they saw. They had no idea how this had gone unnoticed, but that wasn't where the surprise ended. After the mare had given birth to her healthy calf, the men were waiting for her to get more comfortable on the ground. However, she still seemed in a terrible state of discomfort. That's when they saw it. She was still in labor, giving birth to a second calf. Twins. This was almost unheard of in the horse community. Not only had their prized mare given birth to one unexpected calf, but she had gifted them a second one. The rarity of such an occasion just baffled them beyond belief. In all the years combined, the ranch hands had never experienced or witnessed such an event. It was barely spoken about in the community, never mind experienced firsthand. Luckily for them, mom and both babies were extremely healthy and happy. John simply sat on the grass in the paddock and laughed with joy. His love for beautiful animals was newly restored, and the fact that his father had not been around to experience such a rare event simply made him chuckle. He knew he would never hear the end of it for years to come. What do you think about horses? Did you know they too could give birth to twins? Tell us in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, and until next time, stay safe.